Well. Me and the girlfriend are hitting uh, Third Vault Falls Trail here in Fundy Park. Gonna have to walk about a kilometer in because the road here is not plowed in the winter. So it's about a kilometer to the trailhead and then it's 7.3 kilometer return. So we'll end up doing, uh, I don't know, it'll probably be eight or nine kilometers by the end of the trip. So yeah. Be a good day. Let's get into the trailhead. Third Vault Falls. Yeah, so 3.7 kilometer there, 3.7 back, plus about another one kilometer to the truck. I'm gonna stop and have a lunch and everything, so should be good. Trying to get a little bit warm, had to unzip. How you doing, Dom? Good? Good. Good. Well, we're getting into a little bit more uh, softwood area. Still really nice out today. I'm going at a pretty good pace. Shouldn't be too much longer and we'll be at the uh, falls. Trail markers all on the way. I think we're getting pretty close. There should be a set of stairs down here. Get down towards the bottom of the waterfall. Past some chaga back there, so we're gonna stop on the way back and get that. I've never tried chaga tea. It's supposed to be good for you. And I don't know about the taste or anything, but we'll see. So we just came from up there. We got the stairs that are slippery. Well, at least if you fall, have it on camera. Or if I fall. Pretty awesome. Straight up cliff. Oh, did you fall or was that just, you did that on purpose? Yeah, I did a little flip. Oh, okay. At least you're honest. Take off your snowshoes and follow the river down. Yeah, it's nice. There's Third Vault Falls, she's frozen, with the water going underneath it. Really clear pool down at the bottom. And the river meeting up and going all the way down. Well, I came down. Fairly big waterfall. Flips all around. Dom's coming down too. Last kind of look at the waterfall and stuff. Now we gotta try to make our way back up here. You can kind of see my bag way at the top. Wish me luck. All right. <laughs> look at you. It's 
saw a seeper in it. Look. Killer going back up. Killer going back up, eh? Look at this hill. Come from way down there. Met the people. Beautiful day. So we stopped off. We're gonna have a little fire and cook up something to eat. Of course, as soon as I lit the fire, my battery went dead on the GoPro, so I never got the starting, but you have to take my word for it that I got it going. So yeah, we're gonna let this get burned down here, have some hot chocolate, uh, got it in my thermos, and then we'll cook up something to eat. So yeah, we're just gonna have a small little fire here by the brook. Got the hot chocolate going. Is it good, Dom? It's very good. Just wanted to show I got a new axe for Christmas. Friskars, or Fiskars, sorry. Uh, just like the, my bigger one, but like a hatchet size, good for backpacking. And that's the uh, girl that my father made there. He made two of them, and I think he kept the better one, but I guess that's the, that's what you can choose there when you make it. Just kidding, Dad. Very fast to that. So you are gonna let that burn down. Have a... I got a Stanley mug, uh, Stanley thermos for Christmas too, which seems to work go pretty good. I mean, this is su still super hot, eh? Yeah. And I mean, we, went, we left, uh, I must have made it at around nine this morning, so. And I mean, it's been cold out all day, so. Anyways, we'll get this burned down and we got a steak to throw on, so. Letting the pan there, the uh, grill heat up. Got a nice steak, got a f some beef jerky, some pepperoni. That's deer pepperoni that my brother shot this year. Uh, peanuts and a couple cliff bars, and of course, some forks for us. So, yeah, we're gonna get that heat up here, and hopefully, there'll be enough coals for us to cook this steak on. A little bit of Montreal steak spice and garlic we did the first flip here a couple more minutes on this side and she should be done a good medium hopefully with a nice smoky taste excited or what excited. she's excited Hungry. she's starving Steak's done. Threw on a couple pieces of uh, deer uh, pepperoni. Is heated up. I'm gonna keep the fire going a bit and uh, eat this caveman style. Just pick it right off the fire. So get back to you in a sec. Well, I overcooked it a bit there. The flames kicked up, but uh, still not bad. A little more cooked than I want. Tastes great. Mm. 
the wife approves. So we're going to eat a little bit of this and maybe have another drink of hot chocolate and relax a bit. It's getting later in the day. It's getting on 3 o'clock. It gets dark around 5, so we got to get out of here. So we got her all cleaned up there, put some water on the fire and buried it over. Left a few peanuts there for Mr. Squirrel. Heading back to the truck. Fueled up, ready to go. Also just wanted to show, I got these new gloves there for Christmas too. Uh, North Face Apex. They've been so good so far, it's been pretty cold and my hands have been super warm. Had to take them off a few times. But uh, that's also trudging through the snow with snowshoes on, so it keeps it pretty warm. Anyways, we'll get some uh, more footage in a bit. Just coming along here, guys, and we noticed something out there on a tree. Got some chaga. I found a piece that was three, four times as big as that further back, but uh, it was about to 20 feet in the air, so I couldn't get to it. Anyways, we knock this down, we'll dry it out, and I'll try this chaga tea that everyone's talking about. Just getting out. Uh, the only bad part is you have to walk up the road a bit to where the parking lot is because this isn't plowed. So it should be about another kilometer or so uphill. Well, we made it back to the truck there. It's almost uh, 10 kilometers today. It was 9.3, 9.4 kilometers total there and back. It's a good day. Thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I like hearing from everyone, so thanks a lot.